What's up, everybody? This is Bobby, Ad Hoc's Director of Marketing, and this is Hawk Talks, the show about all things digital advertising. First things first, let's go over some Slack terminology. You just need to know four key terms. First is Slack commands. These are things you type into the bottom line of Slack and you have Slack do things for you, like slash call to call a coworker or slash remind to remind an entire channel or even yourself of something that you gotta get done that day. The second is Slack customizations. So these are things like editing the emojis and editing the Slack bot built directly into Slack. The third is Slack apps, which are essentially just integrations with businesses and services you already use. And fourth is Slack bots. These are kind of little clever little programs that companies write that will automate tasks and do other things to make you more productive. So let's start with Slack commands. First Slack command you need to know is command backslash. This is gonna bring up every Slack command that you can use and you can kind of filter through that list and find the ones that are gonna save you the most time. For me, the Slack commands that work the best are being able to quickly switch between the channels that you're working in or the direct messages without having to use your mouse. There's also the ability to call a coworker right away once you agree upon a time, no hangout link, no, no Zoom link, just meet directly within Slack. Explore that list and find what works for you. Up next we have Slack apps. So if your business is already using services for website analytics, for CRM, for email, it's likely that they're already integrated directly into Slack. Slack has already taken over email for business communication and other companies have taken note. So here are a couple of my favorite Slack apps that you can be using as a marketer to make your life a whole lot easier. The first tool I recommend is Notify. So if you're trying to keep track of what people are saying about you on Reddit, on Twitter, on Facebook, in the form of retweets or you know replies directly to you or comments on your stuff, Notify is gonna put that all in one Slack channel for you for you and your team to review. Like many of you, everyone here on the ad hoc marketing team has to wear a lot of different hats. We care a ton about website analytics, but we don't have time to dive in every single day and see how website is performing. We use an app called StatsBot that links up with Google Analytics. That's crucial to helping us surface insights really quick, but kind of saving us the time to not dive super deep into the data all the time. So StatsBot will let you set up benchmarks and alerts around your different KPIs and notify you when things start to go south and maybe you need to dive in a little bit deeper. One of my biggest pet peeves and time wasters is back and forth over email to just find a time to talk or schedule a meeting. Meekin is an app for Slack that knows everybody's calendars and availabilities and automatically schedules a meeting that works for everyone involved. When we're publishing content on the ad hoc blog or scheduling things for social media, Honestly, a lot of our time is spent just looking for that perfect GIF or that perfect image to go along with our content. You can use different Slack commands and apps to streamline this process. For stock images, you can use slash unsplash, type in a search term and just take whatever royalty free image they produce and use that in your content and move on with your life. With Giphy's, there's a lot of different GIF options in Slack. We use slash Giphy. All you have to do is do slash Giphy and then number one and then the search term. That will produce the top GIF for that search term. You can just download that, use that in your content. There's also a great Google Drive integration that will notify you when someone comments on something, when someone shares an item with you. So instead of having to go to your email, go to that promotions or that updates folder just to find the update, It'll just be right in Slack and you can open it. We use Trello to manage a lot of our kind of marketing sprints. We'd like to think we're engineers, but it's actually just a really efficient way to get things done. Trello has an awesome integration that will let you know when people complete tasks, move cards to the next stage, or add new things to the backlog. Before you leave this video and go find those Slack apps that are gonna be perfect for you and your business, I wanna talk about Slackbot. Slackbot is one of the customizable options in Slack that lets you create triggers and commands that will uh, surface information inside of Slack. What we did here at Ad Hoc is we created Slack commands that then trigger and surface uh, kind of frequently asked questions by employees, uh, bits of data that are super important. We have a hook that if someone just types in, give me Facebook ad sizes, all the best specs for Facebook ads are just gonna pop up right in Slack. Slackbot also lets you put in some Easter eggs for you and your team to laugh about. Um, we have a bunch of gifts that automatically trigger when you say things like, uh, show me the money or make it rain. These are just kind of fun ways for us to just make Slack a little bit more ours. Um, and I think that's something you can definitely utilize to make not only your team more productive, but have a little bit better uh, time when you're inside of Slack. If you enjoyed today's episode, share it in your company's Slack channel, help them be a little bit more productive. Leave us a comment below and thanks for watching.
My name is Bobby, and this is Bobby.